Libra. Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Libra placement. If you're new to my channel, I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning. Okay, so the first message that we have here is you can't handle the truth. Wow. So immediately, I'm picking up on a person who either ghosted you, okay, there was either some form of rejection or the communication has slowed drastically here. And I'm picking up that your person is actually dealing with something heavy that is external to your connection. So if you are feeling as if it was something that you did or if you had a negative impact on the connection or somehow caused this separation, I'm getting that your person is dealing with something totally external to this connection, okay? I'm also feeling that whatever this is that your person is, is dealing with at this time, they're in this energy of you can't handle the truth because they feel as if whatever this truth may be will have a negative impact on the, traje on the trajectory of your connection here. They feel as if this will taint your connection in some kind of way here. But immediately I'm picking up on a divine feminine energy where you're actually extremely disappointed with your person. And you feel this way because your person didn't give you a choice. Um, you're somebody who is extremely big on honesty. You're extremely big on transparency. Your person didn't give you the choice to choose if this is something that you actually were willing to work through, if this is something that you felt like you guys could have communicated through, um, your person just felt as if this was something that you couldn't handle. They kind of jumped the gun, took matters into their own hands and kind of either ghosted you or just started to pull back their energy a little bit. So I feel like you'll know this message is for you if you just feel extremely disappointed in your person and how they handled you with whatever they're going with whatever they're dealing with at this time yeah it seems as if there's something that's going on in the background and it kind of spilled over into your connection here and it's almost as if your person has a lot of love a lot of respect for you and they just didn't want to burden you with this Okay, maybe they felt as if whatever this was was going to be a burden to you. You weren't going to be accepting of this. Okay, they just ultimately felt like this would have a negative impact on your connection here. So you could have felt your person pulling back their energy from you. Maybe you asked them, can we talk about it? But I feel like the more that you kind of insisted that your person open up, it's almost as if this made them pull back even more here. Okay. Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have right person, wrong time. Yeah. So the energy that I'm picking up with this connection is that this is something that moved extremely fast. Okay. It's almost as if this was like a whirlwind kind of situation. I feel like your person kind of found themselves getting lost in you, getting lost in this connection, getting lost in your energy. So much so that it's almost as if something hit them out of nowhere, whatever this external thing is, and they kind of pull it back like, well, I can't really give myself fully to this connection right now. There's definitely something that your person is dealing with, something heavy that I don't know. I feel like it's kind of weighing on them at this time. And it's like when you met them, things started to move really, really fast. They started to fall for you. You know, the energy was good. You guys felt really, really good in each other's company. And then it seems like all of a sudden, it, there was this drastic change here. Because I feel that there's something in your person's energy that they need to deal with. And this connection kind of caught them totally off guard here. Let's, let's get the next message here. Yeah, something about the timing was extremely off, okay? So this could have caught your person completely off guard. 
I'm seeing that maybe your person wanted something more casual, okay? Maybe you wanted something more casual. They didn't expect to fall for you or they didn't expect to feel how they feel about you so quickly and so intensely. And I feel like whatever it was that they were dealing with external to this connection kind of spilled over into that, which drastically affected the timing of this. Okay, let's get the next message here. Wow. We have you're too good for me. Okay, I don't know why I just picked up on like a really, really sad energy from your person, okay? I feel like your person is extremely sad here, okay? And I don't feel like they actually feel like you're too good for them as far as their worth. But I feel like they may view you as being advanced. I feel like um, there could be a vast difference in in a couple different things here. Maybe you're extremely, or um, maybe you're extremely advanced. Okay, maybe they view you as extremely emotionally intelligent. Maybe you're older than your person. You know, maybe you're more spiritually inclined here. Okay, I feel as though your person has some shame around whatever it is that they're dealing with because they feel as though you may view this as something minuscule, but it, it may be something extremely massive to them here, okay? But yeah, you may be advanced. There's some type of difference, okay, with, with, within this connection. This could be age, this could be wisdom here. But I feel like your person feels kind of yeah, I'm just getting this energy as shame as it pertains to whatever this is. I don't know if this is something they're currently dealing with, something that's um, something that's in the background, you know, something that's in their past here. But they're definitely feeling a little bit ashamed of whatever this is that they're going through and maybe thinking about how you will perceive them after you come into this truth. So it's almost as if they're projecting this energy onto you because they're not in a place where they can be open and be honest or in a place where they're even comfortable enough to share this truth with you here. So they just assumed that this is something that you would write off. This is something you can't handle here. But I'm getting that this is something that, yeah, th this person is dealing with something heavy, okay? Something extremely heavy. Yeah. Let's get the next message here. Yeah, we have, I don't know how you feel about me. Hmm. So immediately getting that divine feminine, I feel like you started to kind of pull your energy back. Not necessarily pull your energy back, but you started to match your person's energy. And it's weird because it's almost as if when you were at a place where you wanted to know what was going on with your person, maybe you were asking them, hey, what's wrong? Hey, you know, let's talk about it. I'm here for you. It's like your person was giving you pushback. And then you got to a place of acceptance where you said, okay, I'm just going to pull my energy back. I'm going to give them their space, give them their time. And now your person is confused about how you feel about them. Okay, so... Yeah, I feel like this may be something emotionally here, but your person is definitely picking up on your energy and picking up that maybe you're not in a position where um, you're continuously asking them for information or inquiring about the distance, about the space here, about their lack of communication. So now your person is confused actually about how you feel now. Okay. Okay. I also feel divine feminine that there's a lot of things that you feel about your person that you don't express as well. And maybe this is you marrying back your person's energy because they're not being open with you here. But there's definitely a break in the communication. And if you've been wondering what it is, I feel like this, this reading is basically letting you in on your person's thought process and how they have projected whatever it is that they're carrying onto this connection, how this is actually spilled over 
into the connection to the point where your person has kind of lost control. And you know, sometimes when people lose control, they just kind of let things continuously go down the wrong path instead of correcting it here. And now it's almost as if your person is trying to make all, these, all of these excuses as to why. You know, where you're too good for me, where, where you can't handle what it is that I'm going through. And I feel divine feminine, you're just at this place where it's like, well, you didn't even give me a choice. You know, I feel that you're somebody who is extremely um, transparent, okay? You value honesty here. And you feel like at the very, very least, you know, things should definitely, um, there's definitely a place for you to have a discussion here. I feel like that's the very least. You feel like at the very least we could have a discussion about this. And you can give me the choice to decide if this is something that I'm okay with and something that I'm willing to work through. Or you know what? I really don't have the capacity. But I'm feeling that your person didn't even give you the choice. And that is where most of your frustration is coming from with your person and being at a distance from your person here. Let's get the next message here. Wow, we have, why can't I get over you? Yeah. Your person, they're extremely regretful about this because it's like, they still want to be in your energy. They still want to be nurtured by you, okay? They have a lot of respect for you, a lot of respect for you here, and a lot of deep, deep emotions that they don't openly express to you. Because it's almost as if your person, they were so comfortable with you, you know, um, inquiring about what it was that they were going through. They were comfortable having your energy be in their life. And now that they pulled away or even pushed you away now, it's like now your person can't stop thinking about you here. And it seems like they're trying to justify it while saying, well, oh, well, you know, the divine feminine wouldn't be able to handle this. The divine feminine is way too advanced, you know, spiritually. Way too, has way too much wisdom, okay? Way, way too, way too emotionally intelligent. You know, the divine feminine wouldn't be able to, to understand what it is that I'm going through. Or maybe, maybe the, the divine feminine wouldn't care. You know, they're trying to place all these excuses and all these reasons around why they are not in a place where they can be open and honest with you. Because I'm getting that that's how you were with them. And now it's like they are constantly being pulled in your energy. They're constantly consumed with thoughts of you because it's like they want this. They want your energy around them, okay? And they can't get over this connection here. So I definitely feel like whatever your person was going through external to you, they allowed that to taint your connection. And now they're in deep regret. It's almost as if they get into this place where they're they're at a level of acceptance where they're like, okay, you know, this is my fault. I can't get over her. You know, I can't get over the divine feminine. Um, maybe I need to reach out. Maybe, maybe we need to talk about it. And then they go back to justifying why they pulled away from you. So your person is definitely in like this push and pull kind of energy when it comes to you, but they're definitely consumed with thoughts of you and thoughts of this connection right now. And I feel like they're really trying to process how to actually move forward from this space of being stagnant. Because whatever this energy is that's external to you is definitely the main cause of the delays within your connection. Let's get the last message here. Wow. Yeah. We have you need to know the truth. Yeah. So when it when it all comes down to it, your person definitely um, may be at a place right now or maybe getting to a place where they're ready to take responsibility for the part that they played in this. You know, they feel like whatever this truth is that they felt like you couldn't handle, now they're feeling like they're ready to open up to you and let you know because they can't stop thinking about you and they're realizing that, wow, I actually pushed someone away from me 
that probably would have been willing to hear me out, probably would have been willing to work through this with me, or even if not, you know, I should have at least given them the choice to tell me that themselves instead of projecting my insecurities or my doubts onto them and onto the connection here. But I'm seeing that your person definitely has a lot of love, a lot of respect for you here. I also get the, get the impression that maybe they didn't want to burden you here. That's, that's where I'm feeling like they have a lot of respect for you and where they felt like they didn't want to burden you or they didn't want to bother you with this here. But I'm feeling that you're really disappointed because they didn't give you a choice. They didn't consider you when they made these decisions here. But your person is definitely at a place where they feel like you deserve to know the truth here. And they have enough respect for you to present you with this truth. So you definitely may be hearing from your person soon to discuss whatever this was that came in between your connection here. So that's the message that I have for you today. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on your way out and be mindful if you would like to receive a personal reading or join us on Patreon. All of that information will be in the description box below. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.